Hello YouTube, Mike here. How is it going guys? It is a gorgeous day today and this afternoon I'm so excited to bring you this video. I'm here north of Georgia at Hanson Air Group. So today I'm going to be checking out two different light airplanes. There's a low wing and there's a high wing. The high wing is called the FK9 and the low wing which you see being pushed right behind me is called the Peregrine. So today I'm going to be reviewing this airplane. I'm so freaking excited. You guys stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, so here we have the FA Peregrine. This is the low wing LSA that is distributed by Hanson Group here in Georgia. Okay, as you can see the airplane, very neat. Um, design is very similar to most of the low wing LSAs you see in the market today but this airplane does have a little bit more performance this particular one actually is custom built by a customer so this is a custom built one uh, and from what I was told uh, these airplanes are actually built and assembled in Germany and then they're shipped out here to the US where you sort of put the parts together so it's like they build them out for you in Germany and then they send you all the parts and the pieces together um, for you to put it together here in the United States so but let me get the door let me get the door open for you and then we'll talk a little bit more about the features in here so out here guys you have a very light body frame if I can stretch my hands I'm almost as long as this airplane <laughs> I'm just gonna go around for you here um, again this is stuff that I'm personally used to uh, you have your ailerons and flaps here on the wing body of the airplane if we go back here it's like a T shape a downward T shape again very similar to the DA40 that I'm familiar with okay you have your rudder up here and your elevator right here and this is the trim very neat airplane very neat airplane again priced I would say it's priced competitively compared to uh, other LSAs in the market. Uh, I did a video recently on five LSAs in the in the market right now, and although those are more completely built compared to this, because this, as a customer, if you were to build buy this airplane today, you just come in, you make a deposit, uh, and then they get you your airplane. Basically, they transport it all the way from Germany and then put it together for you. So as you can see here, it is a latch door with a glass canopy. Now, during the summer, this thing will get hot. That I can tell you for sure. But if you look in this cabin space, this is pretty average for what you get for your typical LSA. I can step in here real quick. So to get on, just to show you, Normally you can't step on the wings. You have this right here to put your foot on. So don't step on the wings. I can easily just put one foot down here and you hold this here and you can get in the plane. All right. This is your typical base version. Okay. This is your base version for the Peregrine. Uh, you get steam gauge. All right. This is all steam gauges. And this airplane is only VFR. This airplane is not approved to fly IFR. So meaning you can only fly during the day and you can't fly it in any type of bad weather. All right, that's simply what that means. Now this particular airplane is fitted with a Rotax 912. Okay, uh, and the Rotax 912 produces 100 horsepower. And you have your, your typical stick, which is the same thing I learned in. So just to give you an idea, I'm 5'10", and I don't want to say it's cramped, but I can basically, I'm extending my foot all the way down here, and my back also all the way, if you can see me here. So guys, see, I'm all extended out in this airplane. My foot is all the way down to the rudders, and my back is all the way resting on these seats. So it's quite comfortable in here for somebody five uh, I would say up to five ten five eleven now if you get a little bit more taller I would say north of six feet tall you might find a little crampy in this cockpit but then in terms of like 
my uh, armrest space here. If somebody else was sitting on this seat, uh, the cabin is pretty wide enough. Okay, this is this may be even wider than the DA40 that I trained in, but I would say it's about the same. Uh, it does tell me on the stat sheet that this cabin is about 44 inches wide. So, but I can tell it's gonna be comfortable. Again, for me, for my size, my pre uh, preference, I'm pretty comfortable in here. Again, you have your normal uh, stick here, uh, which you should get used to. If you're gonna be flying light aircraft, a lot of them come with uh, the stick and not the yoke that you pull and push. Uh, so the center console here, this is something I'm already used to. You have your nose trim here, which I'm already used to in the in the Diamond Star. And this is your throttle. Now, it's not the most fancy interior. And you guys know that I'm very, very uh, picky when it comes to interior. But this is not leather. It's just your normal cushion. I can tell you also, sitting on this thing, it's actually very comfortable. It's very comfortable. Uh, and as you can see, they at least covered the... Uh, the metal on the inside with like soft touches so everything you're touching in here uh, is pretty soft so you're not banging your hands on on the uh, on the airplane or the frame itself and then you get a little pouch uh, on the side to put your notepad or whatever have you so that's pretty neat uh, you get one on this side as well and look at this this is even fancy you get a you get a nice armrest in the uh, in the airplane, I can tell you for sure a lot of light aircraft, even certified single engine aircraft, you don't get this because the airplane manufacturer is trying to use all of the space available. So they use the real estate in here pretty good. I'm not sure if, if I would be using this often, but it's there. So you get a nice little uh, armrest there. Now, if we look in the cockpit again, this is your base model where it's just all steam gauge. Uh, and again, this particular airplane, if you were to buy one today, you're looking at $130,000 base. And if you decide to go up from there, uh, say you wanted to get leather interior, or you wanted to get a full glass cockpit, um, you, then your price would go up from there. I love how simple the, uh, the cen center column is here. Uh, all I have is my trim, and then I have my throttle here. That's it. Uh, in the DA40, for example, there's three different levers here. You have your throttle, and then you have your prop, and then you have your uh, your mixture. So the the consider the DA40 more like driving a manual car because you have the prop there, uh, and that's a constant speed prop. I believe I don't think this airplane has one. I could be wrong, but I, I'll definitely double check for you guys. But I I do love how simple this center console is and generally when I'm flying or anybody's flying this is what you hold on to for the most part and I love actually this handles it actually goes right into your fingers so you see you can just hold on to it so that's pretty neat I love how they make this so simple even for a new pilot okay you see every single dial every single switch in here has the name of the switch so that way you're not looking around for what is what I, I don't even have to tell you guys. You can read it yourself. See? Master switch, choke, ignition, start, carburetor heat, avionics master, your nav, strobe lights, landing light, cabin heat, instrument lights. Boom! Everything is labeled for you, and so that is very neat. And the same thing on the center console. So you see your fuel, left tank, right tank, uh, off and on, uh, your parking brake, flaps, uh, your throttle your power here and here your nose trim sweet all right so that is the interior and then again you have your flight instrument generally you have your airspeed here and these are stuff for your engine uh, to gauge your engine your rpm this is your oil temperature gauge and this is your fuel gauge down here but these are stuff you see in your car anyway so you should be familiar with everything in here now i did ask if you can get a different engine option for this particular airplane and i was told that the only engine option that you have is the rotax 912 particularly for this peregrine and this airplane cruises around 118 knots that's pretty sweet for 100 horsepower uh, generally your lsa's you're looking at 93 100 110 for the most part and you have this one cruising at 118 so 
it is a fairly nice cross-country airplane you can actually fly this thing cross-country which it's done so guys hope you enjoyed the video again my name is Mike thank you so much for watching this is the Peregrine it's an LSA airplane here at Hansen Air Group and it's shipped all the way from Germany if you need to buy one of this if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I'll catch you guys on the next video